What is odd? What is odd is that if you look at the previous page and you look at the graph, you see that the fuel cost went the highest in December of 2022 than it was the months before. Yet, Lake Tucana wind power was curtailed. If Lake Tucana was not curtailed, we would have saved an additional, in the month of November and December of 2022, we would have saved the consumers on the tariff 1.147 billion shillings. And the question we ask is, if we are producing cheap power, if you have the ability to reduce the tariff, then why did you curtail us? Question, because we don't know the answer. The second point in, in, in to, to the same issue, and you talk about the losses and the consumer tariffs. There is a 26% system loss. We have an aging infrastructure. We have projects on the transmission and distribution that are years and years overdue. Nairobi Ring Project, which was supposed to be completed more than seven or eight years ago, still is not complete. The upgrading of the Nairobi Ring Project would provide redundancy and would provide system stability. It's not done. The Nairobi-Mombasa line does not operate at 400 kV. It operates at a lower voltage, even though it is rated 400 kV. Why? There are no shunt reactors till today. If you upgrade the infrastructure, the transmission and distribution infrastructure, and focus on that and bring the losses to the 19% or lower, because 19% is what is compensated as part of the tariff under EPRA, the balance is actually direct hit to the PNL and therefore to, uh, to the consumer. If focus is made on transmission and distribution, and if anyone Googles, I wrote an article four or five years ago in the standard, and I said, what needs to be done to reduce the cost of power? I said this four or five years ago, before the public um, um, you know, discussions had started. And we focused and said, if you don't focus on the transmission and distribution, which is aging, inadequate, and is not of the right quality in some places, and let me come to quality because, that, uh, uh, Senator Spooner, you said, what can we do? In that case, the cost of power will never come down because 26% of the power that is produced is lost and not paid for. If you look at Lake Tucana specifically, the transmission line was built. We all know that. In 2020, 2021 December, 2021 December, this is three years after Lake Tucana was operational. Maybe some of you will recall there was a little bit of a press um, PR situation where suddenly the Loyangalani Suswa transmission line went down and caused Kenya to go into a blackout. Do you remember that? Why was that? Because a pylon in Nevasha fell. Three pylons fell and pulled another two or something. Right? When was that? December 2021. We have a double circuit line. In the words of engineering, it is the Rolls Royce of lines. One of the lines has been made with insulators so that because it passes through an area of lightning, if you strike one and if it goes out, the other one comes on. So it's N minus one redundancy from technical terms. Today is April 2023. Those five pylons are still down. They are on gum poles. We live in the 21st century, by the way. But they are on gum poles till today. So we have a pylon, high voltage, which went down 18 months ago or 15 months ago. Should not cost a lot to fix back at Traco. Is of national importance that we are a uh, the, the system backbone. And we ask, what can be done? The answer is, Ketraco has to do its role of transmission effectively. That transmission line today, tomorrow, when it goes down, because it's not if, it is when. You cannot have 300 megawatts of power going on a single line on gum poles, and it will not go down. It will go down. Then we will all be saying, and as friends, we will call each other and say, see, I told you so. If we identify 15 or 20 interventions in the transmission and distribution system, 
shunt reactors on the Mombasa Nairobi line, upgrading of certain substations, capacitors, you will reduce system losses. The cost of power will also come down. That is the lowest hanging fruit for bringing the tariff down. And uh, Senator Sipuna, we implore you, we beg you, we don't want to be in the negative or in the bad PR because someone else's transmission line went down and we are charging beam generated energy. We are asking you today publicly, please help us so that Ketraco can fix those five pylons, so that Kenya does not have to face A, blackouts and all the economic cost of that, and B, we don't have to have a difficult discussion about the penalty in the event that the transmission loan goes down and we are not able to deliver power. We don't want to have that discussion.